Hi guys, uh, this is Gaurav and um, today I'm going to show you how to actually mix Indian percussion. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so this Indian percussion I tracked kari thi very simply using an Apogee Duet 2 sound card. So Apogee Duet 2 is a normal kind of sound card. Um, this made two pre-amplifiers of decent quality and decent kind of converters. Uh, this is not a pristine kind of converter jo Apogee Symphony or Prism Sound ya links ya or, or antelope audio type converters mein milega. this is very ordinary this can be found in many home studios so the, the idea was to basically track with a home studio kind of setup and show you ke kya kuch kara ja sakta hai with plugins to make this really big sounding so anyways first i'm just going to play you this ensemble jo basically c414 mics are record kiya gaya i think a couple of sm57s and um this is the sound we got raw so no compression no equalization kuch bhi use nahi hua during tracking this is just recorded dry at my studio just listen to it So that's it basically, you hear all the sounds, um, it's not bad actually, it's tracked pretty well. But as you can see from the waveform, no compression equalization use nahi ki to fatten it up or anything. So I'm going to start with plugins. So first thing I'm going to start with is Tabla. And uh, I actually use a plugin called Transient Designer, which comes with uh, un Universal Audio mein bhi aata hai, or actually Native bhi aata hai by SPL, a company called SPL. So I'm going to use the Transient Designer. So basically I'm going to increase the sustain of the sound yani ki jo uh, natural flow hai sound ki or sustain hai or uh, release hai that is the flow and I'm going to just increase a bit of that so if you've recorded a tabla jo is kind of dry in a dead room so you might not you know get a very sustainy sound so I'm going to increase it let's see This is kind of similar to parallel compression. Yeah, parallel compress karte, you kind of makes a dry signal with a overly compressed sustained signal. So I've done that. So basically, when I ask increase kar of the sound, if you hear it now, you see how it sounds. I'm going to bypass the plugin so you can hear the original sound. So this is the basic sound which basically came through. Um, again, I'm going to use a bit of uh, equalization and I'm going to use um, in my case, a UAD Neve plugin, which I really love. So I'm going to show you the 88RS. Uh, it's a beautiful channel strip plugin by UAD, which is in 88RS console. Se aate. Um, so I recorded basically with a simple system, but I'm now using my UAD plugins to make this sound really rich. Not to say that all waves or plugins can not be used, but I particularly wanted to show you the you know the top notch. Uh, systems available in digital yani ki you don't need to own any analog gear to make this sound great i'm going to use digital to make it sound great okay so um i'm using a filter basically to roll off the lows here in this filter section of the console okay i also want a bit of sharpness on the top since i did not use eq while going in so i'm going to use a little bit of air not too much around 13 hertz maybe or 12. let's hear this Great. So I got a bit of clarity. I'm going to uh, roll off a bit of maze around here. Let's see. Very nice. So I can also add a little bit of low mid. Great. So if I bypass this, you can hear it. Slightly duller sound now. Slightly sharper. This is a cleaner, sharper sound. Then we turn plugins go uh, bypass cards, and you can hear the sound. Okay, so uh, this was a dry sound. Now the process sound. Okay, so it's kind of clean and nice. I like it. Okay, next we'll go to the dolux. So uh, I'm going to use the two dolux which I have. Just ka, the low end part. I'm just going to play you that, which is very recorded very simply. Uh, this was not recorded using a 414. I think this was recorded using a, a bass and microphone. I don't know exactly which one. Just got, you know, the head is a little big, so it's kind of captures the lower frequencies. So let's hear this. Okay. So this is going to bus 1920. I'll have to just uh, increase it from here. Okay, and the upper part is here. Yeah. 
these. I'm trying to make the right balance between the left and right sides. Like the low and the high have, you know, some kind of thing. But I'm going to group process it because I'm passing all of these channels to the bus, which is called a Dholak bus over here. And I uh, basically have double track it. So I have panned, you know, the low end part left and right and then the high end part also left and right. So uh, the chanti part as we call it is the high part. So this is also panned equally. So it's kind of giving a stereo kind of effect. And I've got the low end here so I can dial in as much. Okay, the same thing I'm going to do since I have more than one track. I've actually got four tracks passing here. Um, the first thing I'm going to attempt to do is a bit of compression and for this basically to control the dynamics a little bit I'm going to use my uh, favorite compressor the DBX160 which is fabulous on drums so since we use it on drums I'm this is percussion <laughs> so I'm going to dial in the setting uh, nothing too extreme so let me see what uh, I can come up with in this case sorry about that I'm just going to solo my dholak okay um, So not too much, but I'm not just compressing about four or five DC dB. So the jo high parts are, be accommodated, and the low parts are, be accommodated. Hoge. So I've compressed a little bit and give it a little bit of gain. So I'm basically trying to glue the compression together. So always uh, try to make things work together and not sound so separate. You can always separate them using EQ and add punch, but it should sound like one thing. So this is my go-to compressor. I really like it. That's nice. It's punchy and tight. Let's hear without. And then with the compression switched in. Definitely, it's brought a lot of punch. So compression basically is not just an automatic volume controller. It's also uh, something which can add punch to your mixes. So again, my same thing is coming. I'm also going to use an SPL plugin here. So I'm going to open this and I uh, basically want to make sound a you know, uh, spread. Karna I want to use it slightly better. So after I've compressed it, I'm going to do the same thing as use the SPL plugin. So I'm going to go to the SPL transient designer and see if I can add a little more sustain. Excellent, so I've added more sustain to it. So I think without the plugins, it's like this. This way I've added more punches. So it actually seems like the guy is playing louder. <laughs> So that can happen with compression and uh, devices which sustain kar sakte. Anyways, I'm going to play this in conjunction with the tabla. Let's hear it. So I'm basically balancing the sound in here. Maybe pull back the sustain a bit. Tabla maybe. I can't control the left hand uh, separately, uh, you know. So, uh, this I did. Um, again, um, you know, I want to add some more richness to the sound. So, I'm going to EQ the tabla a little more to cut through um, the dolak sound. So, let's see how this goes. Great. I'm also going to um, EQ a little bit of the Dholak sound. So in this case, I'm going to use um, another EQ from here. I'm going to use the Pultec, uh, which is also a great EQ. And, um, you know, address the Dholak. So let's see what we can do with the Dholak here. 
Same thing, I'm going to give it a little more air. Broader bandwidth. Sounds better, definitely. I'm also giving a boost to the low end. Now, Pultec is a very easy technique, but uh, it's something known by the Pultec uh, EQ is that you can simultaneously boost and cut uh, the low frequency, which basically is slightly shifted. So it gives a nice warm bass bump into the whole sound. So this is a very good thing if you're EQ drums or if you're actually EQing the low end part of some kind of drum. This is really good. So I'm going to add a little bit, bit, bit of bottom end as well on the Dolak using this. And cut as well, right? We can see. So I boosted around 12 kilohertz and I, you know, cut around 100 and also boosted around. So I've got like a nice glued kind of tone in these sounds. Okay. So now next, let's uh, move on to the percussion track, which is right here. And uh, see how this sounds. So I'm going to unsole everything over the percussion sound. Okay, very uninterestingly recorded. It's not dynamics, so we're trying to, going to make it like a little more punchy. Um, in this case, again, I'm going to go back to my Neve channel strip plugin, which is the Neve 88RS. I can't tell you how beautiful this plugin is because, uh, I mean, I use hardware and I've got hardware equalizers and stuff like this, and I've got tube and solid state equalizers. I mean, this stuff is so close to hardware that it's unbelievable the way it grips the frequencies and you know creates a focus is just unbelievable okay so again uh, the first thing i'm going to do in the percussion track is that i'm going to get rid of uh, the low frequencies it's high percussion for god's sake i don't need anything below maybe even 200 300 so let's listen yeah so using the filters creating absolutely no change in the sound but it is killing the inv invisible low energy again i switch on the eq section and the compressor section so i'm going to compress this sound to make it a little more tasty a little more interesting more punchy get some gain yeah i can hear the punch now so a uh, smaller release so it's slightly more sustainy okay i'm gonna get rid of some frequencies which i have to kind of zone into that's great i've got rid of some frequencies i'm gonna give a little bit of top end again Okay, yeah, that sounds sweet. Maybe a little more air. 18. And cut. So cutting is as important. That's great. That's a nice focused sound. I like it. So do you hear the difference? That's how it sounded. Completely dead. And after the channel strip. It's actually like I pretty much replaced the mic and use some hardware equalizer on this. It sounds beautiful. Great. So again, let's listen to this in conjunction with the Tolak and the Tabla track. Nice. So it sounds great. I'm still planning to do more things with it, but um, we have one more track here, actually. Two tracks of Duff, Duff, which has been, again, panned left and right for a stereo effect. So let's go solo karke sunte hai, what the sun sounds like and uh, then work with it. Okay, great. So it sounds uh, fine. Again, like I said, very plainly recorded. There's no EQ, there's no compression, nothing recorded. So again, uh, <clears throat> the Duff is also being bussed to the Duff bus, <laughs> obviously. Okay, so we have the Duff here. And uh, again, I'm planning to use the Neve channel strip, which I so dearly love. And it's actually like operating the channel strip or of a 88RS Neve console. Okay, so first thing... Uh, First things first, the filters. So let's switch on the filter. Okay, so when I bring it around 80, it's still uh, very easily rolling off some of the low energy right here. Again, I can always bring it back, so don't worry. I'm just cleaning up the stuff. I'm going to use a little bit of compression. Yeah, this makes it a little more controlled without killing or squashing it too much. So. 
about up to 4 to 5 dB of dB of compression so sounds good I'm just going to take away a few mids again the same thing that I usually do so let's target around 200 hertz maybe yeah what do you say <laughs> okay switch on the EQ and uh, roll it out nice that that leads the sound uh, for the low end of the tabla and the tolak to actually fit in and we'll add more sub bass sound probably to the to the chunk again after cutting from here so around 80 100 I can add um, give it a little more air maybe let's see cutting a few mids again here so that sounds nice and controlled Fantastic. So I've actually got the chunk sound working also. Let's see how all of this works together and then I'll just change the balance also to make things sound better, okay? So it sounds like a modern nice sound um uh i think it sounds pretty cool if i switch off the plugins i'm going to show you uh what it actually originally was sounding like so i'm just going to use pro tools to switch off all the plugins here i think that should do it now let's listen so it, it was tracked well anyway but then once we add our few things and adjust the level because I brought the levels down. Let's see. Yes, very simple things. We didn't do anything extreme, but you can hear a very clear sound. Anyway, I'm not done yet. Um, basically, what I'm going to do I'm also going to master this. So I'm going to make it wider, bigger sounding uh, than it is already. And, uh, you know, in order to do that, I'm also going to add... Uh, a surprise thing actually yes I'm also going to add another bus just can there may basically a apna favorite effect dalunga. and no it's actually not reverb <laughs> um, it's going to be the chorus plugin the D chorus plugin from Roland uh, which is just uh, fantastic the dimension D plugin so I just love this plugin it's just add something anyway so many of us create kar rakhe hai. I'm just uh, gonna label the bus here make it 25 26 create a send for uh the dolog bus and the duff bus so 25 26 make it uh pre send some of this stuff and then just copy this bus uh, to duff as well so let's see how Hear that it actually created a little more fullness again you can detail in the if you actually use the hd version of this video you can actually hear all of that anyway um so there we are i've added a little more chorus sound actually or dimension sound to this uh finally we go to the master bus which is the most important thing so how do we actually deal with the master bus so in this case i'm going to use a compressor or in this case i'm actually going to use the tape plugin which is the atr102 atr102 sounds fantastic on everything so uh, earlier, uh, even in Bollywood, actually a lot of people used to record to tape uh, in the older times. And that's why everybody said that digital came out, it did not sound as good as uh, analog did in its time. And that was a huge uh, loss. And uh, it was primarily the tape machines which were creating that kind of nice sustaining sound. So I'm going to try to recreate that kind of sound over here um, using the tape plugin. So I'm going to increase the recording energy and uh, reduce that. So we can hit the signal a little hard on tape. Let's hear. Going to increase the bias, also the crosstalk, so crosstalk and little bit of tape hiss, hum, all of those things. A little bit of brightness here, and tape speed we also change. Kar sakta. I can probably make it slower, and even change the tape formula from here to. So 
tape is adding this additional kind of glue on top of the sound and i know you you're saying it's going to dull it but again we have another counter process to take care of that so this basically has glued the sound together and made it a little more cohesive again it works together so jab chote speakers pe sunenge and you can make it very loud it's still going to cut through without any issue so again at the end of this uh, tutorial mai aapko sunaunga bhi the whole sound in a loud uh, volume so you can see the before and after effects um i'm also now going to add a mastering eq so i'm going to use something called the manly massive passive yes you heard right very popular eq i think this is one of the most successful plugins that uh universal audio has made and i just completely love it the top end boosting it's the only plugin actually i would boost with <laughs> in digital so again i'm taking 16k i'm taking air and i'm going to boost the air Basically, I added a low cut filter here. That's a twenty around actually around thirty thirty nine. We can just roll off everything. A uh, top end. I have boosted. I have a little bit of mids. We cut around one k or maybe six nineties. Where I'll do this. So this is a very passive kind of EQ. I mean, it is a passive EQ, not very kind, but <laughs> it is a passive EQ. So it basically outputs the same level that you pull in. So uh, the equalizer works in a passive circuit fashion. So not creating dist, you know, some kind of uh, artifacts or uh, unwanted. kind of thing. very pleasant sound size you can hear the the, the top end of uh, the mix has become already very very beautiful as we can hear it so cool uh, if i switch the mastering off let's hear This is nice, but it's a mid-oriented sound, and the dolux and all you can hear separately. But once I add these two things, it's just gluing it beautifully together and uh, making it work. So again, you can see it's like made the sound really beautiful. Again, I'll show you. Switching off all the plugins, including the mastering plugins, I'm going to close it down, and uh, you can actually hear uh, this track. So we started started with very basic tracking using a simple sound card, nothing great, something that could actually have been tracked at home, no worries. And then we added these sounds, and we actually made it a little more professional sounding, brighter, cleaner, bigger. more punchy professional sound so it all counts actually if you have uh, your tracking done right and all of that so uh, using certain plugins and stuff you can actually make stuff sound really good uh, to top of the thing uh, to top of the polish i'm going to use the isotope ozone just for maybe one or two things the first thing i will actually do with this is give the stereo imaging this is beautiful in in ozone but actually uh, expand the bands so i'm going to expand the high mid band and the high band also maybe a little bit of the low mid band to make it a little wider so let's see if we can widen our mix a little Sounds great. Even if I switch up the dialog, let's see. So there you go, a professional sounding Indian percussion mix uh, at this point. Then there's also another duffly sound here. I can tune into this very quickly. Maybe add this sound in. Same thing I will do uh, is basically use an eighty eight RS channel strip, which uh, comes with Universal Audio. So the eighty eight RS. 
my favorite plugin okay again roll off a little bit of the lows not too much just basic energy because that's already coming through other things uh, compress the signal make it tighter beautiful give it gain not spongy and glued glued together nicely add some sound to it Let's hear it. So that's what it is. Super wide, super great sound. I'm just gonna push up the levels for you to hear once more uh, the two sections. Uh, and you be the judge of what we did. Again, to give you a reality check, <laughs> I'm going to switch off uh, all the plugins again uh, out here and uh, show you what it actually was before. So here we go. Uh, we switch off uh, this also. So okay, that's your track sound again. Your mix sound. So give it up. <laughs> actually sounds like it was recorded through an analog console so again thank you so much for watching my tutorials i hope this was helpful and uh please don't cry that <laughs> i did this with the uad plugins i just also wanted to show you guys what all is possible in the world of digital agar humne simply track here at home um using simple uh sound card and stuff like that so see you can actually make things really beautiful not to say it cannot be done with other plugins it can but I just wanted to use the UAD. So um, I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for some more tutorials coming your way. Thank you. This is Gaurav signing out. Good night.